all we could focus on was trying to win this game. Um, obviously, we needed help, um, and you never want to give uh, another team uh, control of your destiny. Um, all I can say, I'm appreciative of every guy in this locker room, every coach, every staff member. Um, you know, through the bumps, through through the rocky road, everybody just stuck together and just kept trying to get better. Um, you know, that's something we can build on in the future, but uh, the team doesn't look the same every year. And guys move on, guys retire, guys get traded. Um, you know, you bring in new guys. Uh, it's just a different, different formula every year. Um, but I'm, I'm just so appreciative of every guy um, just trying to get better every single day. Um, and um, I can't say thank you enough to Steelers Nation for uh, going on this journey this year uh, and watching a lot of guys grow. Obviously, playoffs are the goal, but what does it mean that the way you guys finished this year, 7-2, and two, not only is it that you guys finished 7-2, and two, but Mike Tomlin still never had a losing season. What does it mean to be able to do that for him and for this team? I, I really can't focus on any streaks or anything right now. Um, I'm mostly, uh, I'm a little spent just thinking about, um, you know, a win and then uh, not being able to go to the playoffs. Um, I just ask that we all just continue to keep going. Um, use this as a springboard um, and allow you know everybody in this locker locker room be a little bit better next year, um, myself included, um, and you know, that's all I can ask. I mean, you know, obviously we wanted to make the playoffs. Um, you know, obviously we we're waiting, we was waiting to see how those games went. But uh, you know, I think this, us as a team, I think the way that we we finished the season, the way we came out of the bye week, I think we should be really proud of ourselves. Uh, we can just see how our future is. Um, we're young, but we're also really talented, and you know, I think that for us to come together through all that adversity that we had early on in the year, for us to finish out the season the way we did, man, it should be motivation for us, and um, we should be hungry for next year. Uh, that's what I was telling a lot of guys on the sideline when I saw the Dolphins won. Um, you know, I just, you know, shook Kenny's hand and told him he had a great year, man. It's just, you know, we got to do a lot as a team if we want to be where we're at next year, not waiting for other teams to lose to get in. Um, so we got a lot to build on, but man, obviously to make the playoffs, but you know. We accomplished not having a losing season for Mike T, um, and you know we just finished really strong. Tony, what was it about this team? Like what, at two and six, some teams lay down and fold, and you guys really just yeah, flipped man, the script a little. Bit. It's perseverance, man. A lot of times, you know, things are not going to go your way. Um, I never been around a team where everything was just smooth. Um, even when I was at Alabama, we we all had our had our adversity. It may not have been like you know winning, but you know we had our our little bit of adversities. But uh, you know, for us to persevere and, and just stick to together how we were, I think that just comes into next year when we're going through some trouble um, early on or even later in the season. We can just recall back to this year when, you know, we just stuck through and, and, uh, and stuck it out. You mentioned avoiding Mike T's first losing season. What does it mean for you guys to be able to pull that off? Man, that was just for Mike T, man. You know, um, when we started off at two and six, you know, he always said that I'm not going to change the way I'm coaching. You know, I'm not going to blink. Um, I'm going to be the same guy. He, he never changed. He never switched up, man. That's his leadership. And uh, you know, for us to come in there and just to win for him, and you know, not have that losing season, um, I think it was big for us. Is it a little disappointing that you guys are trending in the right direction in the season from the end today? Yeah, of course, it's, of course, it's disappointing. Um, obviously, we want to be in it. Um, you know, there's you always wish you could have done more and could have won games earlier in the year, but that's the nature of the business we're in. It's never going to be perfect, and they're always going to be could have, should have, would have. And um, but that doesn't discredit how proud I am of of this team and how far we've come. Talking about Tomlin, is there any consolation about keeping that non-losing streak going for him? Yeah, man, I just, he's special, man. He's, if he's on up there with the best in the league, man, Tomlin's unbelievable. It's just, uh, I couldn't imagine. Um, I've played for other coaches and, and to be here and, and be around this guy, and I get it. I get I get him, I get the, uh, I get the Steelers, I get this city, I just, I'm, I'm really appreciative of it. I know it's a long off season, um, probably a different locker room, but can you carry this over in the next year, maybe the confidence or the momentum that you guys had towards the end of the year? Yeah, for sure. I think it's always good, especially when the end season's going in the right direction. And um, We're going to have to carry it over. If we want to be the team we, 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 we know we can be, we're going to have to carry it over. Um, next year, there's, there's going to be new guys in this locker room. Who knows what's going to happen, but... Um, we're going to have to take what we learned this year and, 
and progress forward and, and, and be a really good 2023 team. But is it disappointing that you guys were trending in the right direction and the season is kind of over, especially the way you guys were playing it? No, nah, nah, like, like I said, I'm, I'm not. I think I think just trending in the right di direction is, is always positive. You don't want to say we're trending in the right direction, but you know what I'm saying? We're trending in the right direction. Um, we made the plays we had to make. Um, the only thing that I'm disappointed in is, is a slow start to the season. That's the only thing I'm disappointed in. Um, man, I mean, that's in the past. We can't control it. We learn from it. And then now we, we finish the season the way we did. So not, not disappointed at all. Mickey, the way you guys were playing on defense the last X number of games, offense has been much better. How close does it look now to what you thought it would look like or what you thought it could look like? You guys um, pretty close to, to hitting it here at the end? I, I think um, this we play one get, game at a time. Uh, whether we're, we're 0 and 6 or, or 6 and 0, uh, was one game at a time for me personally. Uh, so what we look, what we think we could look like, or what we think we could look like, that's not really a thought in my mind. It's, it's just how can we get better week to week? How far do you think you guys came as a team? Both oh sides. man, night and day. Um, things were looking rough. It was looking rough, but like I said, the leadership that we have, starting from Coach T, Iron, even the players in here. Um, nobody blinked the eye, nobody started pointing fingers. We just all kind of honed in, worked harder, and ended up working out. So keep most of this together, you think? And, uh, I, would, I would hope so. I mean, that's above my pay grade. Yeah. So, but, but I mean, uh, would you like to see I that? I would love to. I would love to come back. I, I would love to keep the same team. But you know how the NFL is, man. It's a, you never know what's going to happen. You mentioned the leadership. Mm -hmm. Is there anything specific? It had to be. On a razor's edge at two and six, three and seven. And, and typically, that when I was walking into the building, I thought things were going to be tense. But it was Coach Tomlin. He was like, "I'm not going to change who I am, no matter if we 11 and 0 or one and, or 0 and 11." And um, he stuck to that. He didn't start tripping. He didn't start yelling. It didn't turn into a finger point match. Like we just continued business as usual, and we looked up and we ended up nine and eight. So I really give credit to that because I've been in places where it gets it gets kind of wicked when things are three and seven. Kind of what? <laughs> wicked. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, wicked, very wicked. <laughs> George, you proud of what you guys did in the second half here this season? Yeah, yeah, according to this game, yeah, I'm <coughs> super proud of what we did as if this was, because if this was game one, I'm treated the same way. So this was a great outing. Uh, unfortunately, it got to be an outing, but as a game individually, yeah, we played great. Can you guys about the comeback as a whole, the turnaround from 2-6 and six to 9-8, and eight. can you guys take that? You know, feel surprised. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Uh, just a resilient group. Uh, and you never know, like I said, you never know what next year holds or 2025 or the year after that. So uh, just resiliency out of the group, the guys this year. Did you think you guys found something here this second half of the season? Yeah. Was this a different team? Yeah, I mean, I think it definitely was um, in the second half. And, um, you know, guys were really bought it. No one panicked. Um, you know, we were 2 and 6. You know, guys just kept fighting. Um, so that's a, like I said, we're just proud of the way we all kept fighting. You know, you know, to just even put ourselves in a position to be in the playoff hunt. And so, um, like I said, we just built off this going into the season. I know it's a, a long off season, but can you use this as maybe momentum or confidence for the next season? Well, for sure. Um, it's just like I said, you know, we know the type of team that we are, we know the type of team that we can be. We know we are a playoff team, and unfortunately, we're not there. But um, yeah, we just gotta we gotta build on it because this is momentum, and so we just gotta we gotta build on it for next season.